Hello, so I'm Lisa. I just want to share a little bit about the Moon sponsored Core 4 event that I went to last week. So the Core 4 are Larry Jones, Stock Mo, Keenan Grace, and Stocks with Josh. And I was able to go to New York last week to hear them speak in person. And this is just a little bit of a, a different way that I am investing into myself. And that's by taking the time to do things that are going to manifest the improvements that I am striving for. And this was a way for me to do that, to go and hear these great financial YouTubers speak in person, to, to hear the questions come from the audience and hear the, the people in the audience also share their personal journey was just so inspiring. I know we're all busy. We have so many um, appointments and just, just taking care of our households. This past Tuesday, between my mother and I, we had four doctor's appointments on the same day. I know it can be hectic, but we have to make time to just do things big and small, just continuously to feed ourselves, to motivate ourselves, to continue to stay encouraged and to gain knowledge in the things that we are trying to achieve. And that's what going to this event, that's what keeping up with watching certain people's content does for me. So like I said, big or small, make time to, to do things like this for yourself. Make time for things that are really gonna keep you on the, the path that you're working towards, to keep you determined, to keep you disciplined. Going to this event just kind of recharged me. It was something to help just to highlight what I'm doing and just inspire me and, and just energize me to just keep on going um, as the economy picks up, just learning different ways to take advantage and just, just staying on track. There were so many people there. And like I said, it wasn't just the core, hearing from the core four that inspired me. It was also... Um, hearing what resulted from the questions that were um, asked of them and hearing some of the attendees sharing their accomplishments that they've achieved just from, from following these guys and, and gaining knowledge, what they've been able to achieve for themselves. You know, there were people there from, you know, St. Louis, Detroit. I, I spoke with a guy that was there from the, um, the Bay Area in California and uh, the event kind of came about a little quickly. Um, and as far as when they announced it and uh, when the actual event date was. So he was a little torn and he pretty much had decided, you know, this is not the right time. I'm going to wait and see uh, perhaps in the future they come to an area closer to me. So he said he went, he went to his job and he went about his business for the day, came back home and when he came home, his girlfriend had bought him the ticket to go to the event because she said, I see a change in you lately and I don't want to wait and see. I want you to go. I see a difference in you and I want you to be able to be there in person and take part in this. And I was just like, wow, I was blown away. Um, I was really thrilled to see the accomplishments that people had made. This was a larger thing to do, um, especially people that had to come from those distances, but it was worth it. It was something that was worth it because we need to invest in ourselves and feed ourselves and, you know, we need to do it continually. Find ways to invest in yourself. Read a book, find a podcast, surround yourself with something that's encouraging, surround yourself with people that are encouraging, share things with people that um, are going to kind of feed you and push you and give you the drive to, to, to do what you're doing. Because I know there's some family members and friends that are not into investing and budgeting and saving, and they're not interested in hearing about this, but you know, find the place, um, even if it's in, in the comments on, on YouTube that you can share and maybe get some encouragement. I'm trying to find a way to manifest improvements in my financial future and doing things like this really give me the drive to want to prosper and to stay disciplined and continue to learn and grow on this journey.
What I really wanted to share here today was just a, a short video and just to share a little bit of my experience at this event and just remind you not to overlook or let opportunities pass you by that you can use to invest in yourself and um, find time to build upon your financial education and ways to keep yourself energized to stay on track. Check out a little bit. I'm gonna include a couple of uh, video clips and pictures and stuff from the event. What's up, good people? You know what? I'm gonna bring these people up. First off, we got the new kid on the block. Stop. Then we got the guy that always goes bop, bop, bop. We got my man, Keegan Gray. And then this dude always say, stick around, I think you're gonna like what I got for you. Stop smoking the house. Show some love, show some love. Five big proper, proper preparation for this poor performance. Say it with me again. Proper preparation for this poor performance. It's more dangerous sometimes to win when it's luck. Because that same throw in that dirt and you win. Oh, uh, rip, rip, rip. Oh, uh, she big new, right? You're hitting the dirt, hitting the dirt. Hey, look, I got $130,000. I'm going to take $100,000. Lock that in so I never go lower than that again in my life. And then see if you could turn $2,000 into 130 again, which you already locked it in originally. So sometimes one of our biggest things, and greater than it with me, that's an issue, is taking profits, taking profits. You know, it's important that you take control of your finances. And I said, it, regardless of what you make, it doesn't begin with what you make, it begins with your decisions. And I said, you've got to commit to me that you will at bare minimum invest $25 a week. And I said, yeah, you guys heard it. And I said, if you can't do that, you can't put down $25, $25 in faith down a week to invest, then I don't think you're ready to take responsibility. Very strong consistency, and it really does begin with decisions first. Decisions, you make the decision first, you decide I will learn the technicals, I will learn, I'll do some paper trading, I will learn options, small position size. You keep saying I'll never get out of this debt, you'll never get out of that debt. If you keep saying I'm man, I'm going to be poor the rest of my life, then you will be poor the rest of your life. But if you start to say, I want to be wealthy, then you reverse engineer that. How do I get wealthy? Tag, you're in. Well, you know. <laughs>